Okay. Um, hi, guys. Um, so for Wednesday's assignment, um, we have, uh, we're doing it on Khan Academy. So if you haven't yet signed up for Khan Academy, you want to um, put in the code from your hour. Um, and what we have is three optional videos that can help you. Um, and then two required assignments. The two required assignments are each four questions. Um, and um, we're going to go through a couple of problems from each section. Um, so you guys have examples to look at. So the first required section here is the one that's linked on the third one. So I'm going to click that. Okay, and this one um, has to do with angle-angle similarity. Um, so we want to use angle-angle similarity to see if the triangles are similar. Okay, so we have um, triangle, here, triangle here. They give us two of the angles. Um, we need to find a third. So we know the three angles of the triangle add up to 180. So we can do 180 minus um, minus 120 minus 30. So minus 120 minus 30. When we subtract those away, we're going to end up with 30. So we know this angle here is 30. So in order for the triangles to be similar, um, we need to show that two, at least two of the angles are similar. So two are, are equal. Um, and if two of the angles um, are equal, then the third one's also going to be equal. Um, and if you have all three angles of the triangles uh, match up, then you have similar triangles. Okay, so um, first one here, um, you have 57 and 87, so those don't match up, so it's not going to be A. Um, here for B, you have 30 and 30, um, so that does match up, right? We have two angles that are 30, so that's going to match up here. This one will end up being 120, so our angles match. So B is going to be our answer. There we go, and then we can hit check. And we're good, and we can try another one. Same thing here. Um, let's find the third angle of our triangle. So we know the three angles of the triangle add up to 180, so we can do 180 uh, minus 39 minus 37. Okay, that's um, basically subtracting 80, so that's 100, and then you gotta add the 4 back, so that should be 104. Okay, and then we need to check and see if we have the ang at least two pair, two angles that match up. So here you have 36 and 114, so that one doesn't work. And then we have 34 um, and 114, so that one also is not going to match up. And that means our answer is going to be uh, neither. So we're going to put in neither here. Hopefully we did it right, and we did. Um, we go to the next one. Okay, and you're going to end up doing the same thing. Right, so you have 180 oops, minus 86 minus 43. Okay, um, together that's going to be um, 129, so you're going to end up with 51. So this last angle here, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's going to be 51. Okay, so you have 86 and 43, so you know it's going to be A. 86 and 51, so you know that one's also going to work as well. All right, this is going to have to be 51 here, and then this one's going to have to be 43. Okay, right, so in this case, you're going to hit both, because both those triangles are going to be similar to the original. So you hit uh, check and you're good. Okay, and then um, you have to get 100%, so you have to get those four right. So that's the first required section. Okay, and then the next required section is the, then you have another optional video link here. Um, and then the other required section is then this fifth link um, here. And let's 
see how much this one is left. Right, and then these we're going to use side, side, side similarity. So we're going to have to show that the ratios of the corresponding sides are all going to be equal. Okay. Um, so we're going to have to match up each one. So here for the first one, um, Again, the largest side is going to match up with the largest side. The smallest side is going to match up with the smallest side. And the middle is going to match up with the middle if they're similar. So the largest side here is 8. So 8 would have to match up with, uh, well, these are all going to be 10, so we don't have another option. So 8 over 10, 7 over 10, and 5 over 10. Well, we know that those are not equal. 8 over 10, 7 over 10, and 5 over 10 are not equal. So this one's going to be a no. And then we can try our next one. So um, largest side is 8. Okay, so that would match up with 10 here if they were to be similar. And then we have 7 is the middle one. That would match up with 9. And then the smallest was smallest. So 5 would match up with 6 if they were similar. But these ratios are not equal. And since they're not equal, those are not uh, similar triangles because the ratios are not proportional. So this one is going to be uh, neat. Neither one of those triangles is similar because the sides are not proportional because the ratios of the corresponding um, parts are not equal. Good. Next one. And again, all these are going to be the same. So um, we'll see if we get one that's going to end up being true. Okay. So for this one, um, uh, largest side is 11. So 11 matches up with 5.5. That's the largest one on this one. Okay, and then 8 and 8 are our next two. So 8 and 8. So 8's going to match up with 4. And then 8's going to match up with 4. Um, if we put these, uh, reduce these fractions, 11 divided by 5.5 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, um, the sides of these two triangles are proportional uh, because the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. And since the sides are proportional, we know that the triangles, all the sides are proportional. We know that these triangles are going to be um, similar by side, side, side. So A works. Then we have to try um, B. So uh, largest is 11. So 11 would match up with the largest here, which is 22. And then you have 8. So 8's going to have to match up with 16, and then 8 with 16 again. So those are your ratios for your corresponding sides. Now, if they're all equal, they'll be proportional. So 11 over 22, that reduces to a half. 8 over 16 also reduces to a half. And 8 over 16 reduces to a half. So the ratios of the corresponding sides are all equal. So we can say that those three sides, um, pairs of sides are proportional. And since all three pairs of sides are proportional, we know that the triangles are similar. Um, so this one's also going to be a yes. Okay. And since they're both true, we're going to put in the answer both here, which is option C. And we can check our work. And if we go to the next one, yeah, it's going to be the same type of question. Um, you would match them up. 8 would match up with 32, 7 with 28, 12 with 3. Um, and then you'd have to match up the ones below it too. 8 would match up with 4.5, 7 with 4, and 3 with 1.5. And you'd have to check and see if those ratios are equal um, to see if the sides are proportional. Um, and that would tell you if the triangles are similar. So those are the two types of problems you have to do that are required. Um, you know, if you need to watch the videos, watch the videos. Um, or again, we'll have a Google Meet tomorrow night or Wednesday night at 7.30. You can also email me um, or text me under mine with any questions you have. Um, but that's pretty much it. It should be a pretty simple, straightforward assignment. You just got to get 100% on those two exercises.